Welcome to another Lambo Live video. I'm your host Evan and we will discuss Blockstream Satellite Dish. We'll focus more on the Blockstream API that was released on Testnet just a few days ago. The past few months have been eventful for Blockstream in terms of partnering with ICE and with Liquid Network and all that mumbo jumbo. But right now, let's talk about their satellite and why it is important. So basically, Blockstream built their own satellite dish for the purpose of broadcasting the Bitcoin network around the world, around the world. But you might be asking, what difference does it make? Why a satellite? Well, number one, internet is not required. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that this affects me a lot because although I live in a third world country and we have one of the most overcharging ISPs in the world, I do have internet and it's working fine. It's not cheap, but at least I have it. But most people all over the world don't have access to this. As of 2018, only half of the people in the world are connected online. So the people that benefit from this the most are those that are living in impoverished nations, especially in Africa, and also those that are living in a dictatorial government. North Korea is our best example, because in this hellhole, internet access can only be permitted with special authorization. You have to be a government employee or a foreigner, otherwise no internet for you. Imagine how it feels like to be living in the dark, cut off from the rest of the world like that. It's insane. And there are countries like China that are not completely in the dark, but most foreign websites are restricted. Although China has shown mixed feelings with regards to the crypto space, they have proven to us that they are not afraid to take action against it. As most of you know, they banned ICOs in 2017. In 2018, their government cracked down a lot of exchanges. Big social media companies like Tencent have censored crypto content in their platform. So it may not be such a far-fetched idea that China may one day block crypto news channels from other countries in order to quote-unquote protect their citizens. With Blockstream API, not only can you send transactions without internet, but you could send encrypted messages too. So in extreme scenarios, we'll definitely need this feature. According to Blockstream, this will also help you save by removing costs. Well, I'm not entirely sure about this since you also need to buy hardware materials like a satellite dish and coaxial cables. Yes, you will save internet costs, but most people do not connect to the internet for the sole purpose of Bitcoin transactions. You probably want to watch YouTube videos or play online games too, and Blockstream won't substitute for that. But again, if you're one of the not-so-privileged who cannot afford to maintain a monthly subscription to an ISP, then perhaps this might give you a cheaper way to access the Bitcoin network since you only need to set up your satellite dish once. And lastly, network stability. Blockstream Satellite provides an alternative method for receiving the Bitcoin blockchain that is not affected by connection failure. This protects users against network interruptions and prevents any full node from becoming isolated or partitioned. Because the show must go on, right? This is the network coverage of their satellite. As you can see, they reach almost every major landmass of the globe. The exception are Antarctica and Greenland. But you don't have to worry because only ICE people live in those places. The Asia regions were only covered about a month ago, so we just had access to this very recently. What's even more recent is their API. 
Remember when I said earlier that you can send messages through the Lightning Network here? Well, I'm not a liar, so yeah. However, the maximum message size is limited to ensure that a message can be transmitted within 10 seconds. Nobody wants network congestion. So like I said, you could broadcast your data throughout the world paid for using Lightning Network. And it's free, for now, because it is live on testnet. And I warn you not to send real bitcoins here because you will lose them. Eventually, they're gonna move this to mainnet, so enjoy spamming messages while this lasts. And it's easy to set up if you're a developer. If not, you can still do it. We'll get to that. Unrivaled privacy. Unlike data sent over the internet, the source and recipient of broadcasts are not determinable by inspecting broadcast data. Privacy can be enhanced by encrypting messages and payment privacy is ensured through the use of Lightning Network's Onion Routing. The problem here is that only a developer knows how to create an application using public key encryption. The rest of us don't. The Blockstream Satellite API is open for anyone to use. Of course it is. Bitcoin has always been open and it should be. Now if you want to build your own satellite dish, which I do recommend, it's a good learning experience at the very least. So if you want, there is a detailed guide created by Grubbles and it is approved by Blockstream themselves. This is what you need. A computer with Linux, a Raspberry Pi can do the job too. Sufficient data storage, 150 gigs if you're gonna run a full node, but if not, all you need is three. A satellite dish, and some parts you could simply buy on Amazon. But I do recommend you check them out on eBay first so you could get it cheaper. I won't discuss the rest of the guide here since you may not be interested, but if you are, I'll leave the links in the description. I applaud Blockstream for their services, but there are still a lot of obstacles they haven't overcome. For instance, they're still using testnet because of Lightning Network being unstable. But that's understandable since they just launched the API a few days ago. But the problem is that it's a bit difficult for individuals who are not tech savvy. I mean, most millennials could probably set it up, but it's not the easiest thing to do. There are two parts of the guide, hardware and software. It's a daunting task and most people would rather not exert effort, unfortunately. They have to be in a desperate situation. You know what would be a good business idea? An open source system that could facilitate the setup and programming process for the average guy. The same way Arduino designs microcontroller kits for building digital devices. But that's just my opinion, not financial advice. I'm really bullish on Blockstream though. I don't really buy the whole conspiracy about them being controlled by banks. These people are world-class cryptographers. I highly doubt that. But everyone is entitled to their own opinion. If you disagree, feel free to leave a comment and I will definitely reply. Damn, it feels good to be in crypto. That's it for today's video. I hope you got something out of it. If you have any suggestions on what the next video should be, leave a comment. Tell me if you want me to make more videos of Blockstream or Lightning Network in general. And if you haven't already, subscribe if you want to. See you guys.